Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check! The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Let's find out together kung kaya nila ang brain workout natin for this season. So samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal our next K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Nat Nat. Nat Nat is a second year anthropology student from UP Diliman. She likes to draw, listen to music, and dance when nobody's looking. She's also a stan of BTS and TXT. She's also single. Okay, up next, we have Samu. Samu is a second year Lasallian student who's fond of activism talk and gathering collectibles. Above all, Samu is a feminist who believes women should have rights. Next, we have a BA philosophy student at the University of the Philippines, Sinawi. Nawi, which is her own made rebrand name. She likes reading but is tired of all her academic readings. She wants to start re-watching Dalyora Bangtan. And finally, we have Amilov. Amilov is a second year BS Geography student at UP Diliman. He spends his time searching for aesthetic coffee shops to feature in his Instagram highlights. Additionally, he enjoys streaming the discographies of artists like Taylor Swift and Siza. So another Swifty. Dami. Per week, meron tayo. Per week. Per day, parang per meron. Day. But in any case, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First off, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean at the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. We also have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, also from UP Diliman. And last but not least, Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, hawak na ni Jules ang mga tanong na kailangan ninyong sagutin. Get ready to buzz in, but wait to be called before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Question number one. What word meaning independence is the name of the group of islands to the west of Palawan that includes Pag-asa and Patag Islands? Amilo. Kalayaan. Kalayaan is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Pink Friday is the debut studio album of which female American rapper, Amilov? Nicki Minaj. Let me proceed. Who was famous for hits, super bass, and check it out? You said Nicki Minaj. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number three. The term cha-cha refers to the legal processes needed to amend the Constitution of the Philippines. What does Chacha stand for? Amilo. Constitutional change. Constitutional change is wrong. Anyone can steal? Not not. Charter change? Charter change is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What country in Southeast Asia is famous for? Elephants. Massage. Not not. Thailand. Thailand. Let me proceed with the question. Massage. The chat to chat, weekend market, and boxing using arms and legs. You said Thailand. That's correct. Gate check. Question number five. Established by Civil Government Act number 136 of the Philippine Commission. What is the highest court in the Philippines? Not that. Supreme Court. Supreme Court is correct. Gate check. Question number six. 26 is 50% of what number? Samu. 52. 52 is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Named after an, an American general, what is the name of the 33-kilometer winding road that connects Baguio City and Rosario La Union? Not, not. Douglas. <laughs> Douglas what? Douglas. No, it's no. wrong. Anyone can steal. Amilog. Cannon Road? Cannon Road is correct. Okay, check. Okay, question number eight. What district of the city of Manila, known as the Old Downtown, is famous for a church housing the Black Nazarene? Maui. Manila? Manila is wrong. 
we're asking about the district. How many long? District 2. <laughs> district 2 is wrong. Anyone can steal between Nat Nat and Sam. Nat Nat. Kya po? <laughs> Kya po is correct actually. Okay. <laughs> Ang sasayan nila. Okay. Question number nine. Okay. What word may mean a site for a boxing match or a piece of jewelry for your finger? Nawi. Ring. Ring is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. Coming from the Spanish term for midnight, what do you call the usually sumptuous dinner prepared on New Year's Eve? Ami love. Buena noche. Buena noche is wrong. Noche Buena. Noche Buena is wrong. <laughs> Somewhere now we you can steal. The correct answer is Media Noche. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy in you. Okay, question number 11. What suit in a standard deck of playing cards is a gemstone? Not that. Diamond. Diamond or diamonds is correct. K check. Last question for this round. Number 12. In animated TV, DD is the sister of which boy genius famous for his laboratory? Amilo. Dexter. Dexter is correct. K check. And that ends round number one. And after that very happy round, yes. we have Nat Nat in the lead with 50 points, Amilov in second place with 40 points, Samu and Nawi tied for third place with 10 points each. And now we come to the portion of our program where we like to find out more about our contestants. So, halimbawa, Nat Nat said she likes to dance when no one is looking, pero more importantly, she made it a point to mention in her bio that she's single. <laughs> Ang expressive mm -hmm. talaga. Ang saya. <laughs> Bakit naman, Nat Nat? Kasi po, since nasa TV, baka po makita nila ako, di ba? Like, uy, single, oh, di ba? Nahihiya <laughs> <laughs> uh, na ako sa sarili ko. Ba't ba dinagdag yun? <laughs> Hindi naman. But uh, it's, a, it's a very good... Um, Tama. Strategy po ba? <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. I think nobody can refute that it's a good strategy. <laughs> Salamat, Nat Nat. Sana may nakapansin yung note uh -huh. na yun. Okay, thank you. Ito naman si Samu. So sabi mo, Samu, uh, you specifically mentioned being a feminist, yung feminism. Why did you mention that in your, in your bio? So I think for the most part, lahat po ng tao, ah, lahat po ng feminist rather is nagsimula sa experience. Eh, Siyempre, ako din yung may experience with yung mga babae. Ganun. But like, uh, I have a sister which I, idol which I idolize a lot. And as much as I don't want to romanticize what she experienced before, na parang sobrang ay nga, na medyo masama, medyo masama experience as a girl. Uh, what I learned from that is, ay nga, maganda maging informative about feminism, especially nga in society natin. Amazing. Amazing, and I like that kind of attitude. Thank mm -hmm. you. Your sister is very lucky to have you. Yes. So thank you very much to Nat Nat and Samu. We will. Engage now and Ami Love later. Pero maganda na tayong lahat for round two. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Pa rin po ang ating karunungan check. Points recap lamang. Nagli-lead ang very single na si Nat Nat with 50 points. <laughs> Ami Love with 40 points in second place. Samu and now we tied for third place with 10 points each. At itutuloy natin ang chikahan natin with our contestants. And we continue with Nawi. Nawi, why the need for a rebrand? From childhood po kasi until high school, Gwen na po, which is my second name, mm -hmm. yung tawag sa akin ng lahat ng tao. So, nung college po, ay, I need a new thing. I think I needed a rebrand. Ay, okay, now we. Now we. Now we is the time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you so much, now we. Mahilig din si Ami Love, ha? Yes, ito na nga si Ami Love. Mahilig naman kumuha ng pang IG highlights. Pero bakit coffee shops ang pinagtutuunan mo ng pansin? At saan ka napapadpad? So, Makati po at sa BGC. Kasi wow. doon po karami ng mga coffee shops and aesthetic po yung place. So, ilalagay po sa IG, kahit mga five lang po yung viewers, at least yung feeling inner child ka na nakagala. 
<laughs> All right. So, maraming salamat sa ating contestants for sharing your very interesting and fun stories with us. But now, it's time to get back to the competition. So, this is round two. Remember to wait to be acknowledged first before answering. Each correct answer is worth 20 points. However, you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two and this is question number one. Released in January 2024, Eternal Sunshine is the seventh studio album of which American singer? Kasi meron tayong Swifty pero wala tayong fan ni Ariana Grande. Question number two. What is the name of the country in the Indian Ocean composed of many small islands and enchanting beaches including those in the Malay Atoll. Uh, Ami Love. Maldives. The Maldives is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. Naglilid na po si Ami Love ngayon. Question number three. What term taken from the Latin words for both and right means being able to use both hands equally well in performing tasks? Not, not. Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. In astronomy, what unit of distance is equivalent to about nine and a half trillion kilometers? Tamu. Pass. <laughs> Nagreen ka ng buzzer para magpass. Well, the correct answer is a light year. Question number five. Which actor became famous for his role as Khal Drogo in the TV series Game of Thrones and went on to play Aquaman in the movies? Jason Momoa. We cannot give credit to your answer because you had not been acknowledged yet by me. Nawi. Jason Momoa. <laughs> Jason Momoa is the correct answer. k -check. Question number six. One of the most famous detectives in literature was created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. What is this character's name? Samu. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is the correct answer. k -check. Positive na ulit ang score ni Samu. Question number seven. What common unit of land area is equal to 10,000 square meters? Uh, Samu. Hectare. Hectare is the correct answer. k -check. At nagtay na ulit si Samu at saka si Nawi. Question number eight. Last January 2024, the Philippines forged a Memorandum of Understanding or MOU on energy cooperation with which Southeast Asian country to our South? Sorry, but nauna yung buzzer sa iyo, Nawi. The correct answer is Indonesia. Question number nine. In music this time, what term for a scale with five notes for each octave inspired the name of a very popular five-man a cappella group. Uh, Nawi, who tentatively buzzed her buzzer. Jackson, five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nakaka-relate ako sa tawa ni Nat Nat. Um, the answer is incorrect. The Jackson, five. The correct answer is a very modern pentatonic. Ah, see, you knew it all the time. Question number 10. Moving on, which popular donut is named after an American gangster of the 20th century who was imprisoned for tax evasion? Now we... Glazed. 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 The answer is incorrect. Not, not. Mr. Donut. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is incorrect. Mr. 
Donald? Was he imprisoned for tax evasion? The correct answer is Al Capone. Ah, nakain yun na din ba yun? Question number 11. What fibrous structural protein of hair, nails, horns, and feathers is now used in creams and lotions and even as a food supplement for hair and nail health? Ami Love. Keratin. Keratin is the correct answer. K check. So Ami Love now moves into the first place. For now, anyway. Question number 12. Ingenuity is a small helicopter that has been operating on a planet since its launch in a 2020 NASA mission. On what planet did the Perseverance rover land containing Ingenuity? Samu. Mars. Mars is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round two. Points recap muna tayo. Amilov is leading with 80 points, followed by Natnat Nat with 60 points, Samu with 50 points, and Nawi with 10 points. Up next, ang pinakainihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check. Welcome back everyone, points recap muna tayo. Ami Love is leading with 80 points, Nat Nat with 60 points, Samu with 50 points, and Nawi with 10 points. In the lead man si Ami Love ngayon, ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol. Kasi dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15 point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Mitzi. In what municipality in the Iloilo province was the Golden Death Mask discovered? A. Molo B. Miagao C. Arevalo D. Oton E. Dagim Its discovery was celebrated in June 5, 1967 by National Museum anthropologist Alfredo Evangelista and Eflanda Hocano. The Golden Death Mass is one of the few funerary gold masks and face covers found in the Philippines. The burying of the dead with the face covers is an ancient burial practice of the Visayans. They believe that the brightness of the gold drives away the evil spirit who wants to occupy the dead body. D. Oton is the answer. Prof. Ricky. Sa math tayo. What is the square root of 144? Samu. Uh, 12. 12 times 12 is 144. K. Chan. Prof. Luke. In Philippine geography, what is the capital of Lanao del Norte? Letter A. Tubod. Letter B. Iligan. Letter C. Colambugan. Letter D, Kapatagan, or Letter E, Magsaysay. Nawi. B, Iligan. Mali. Lanao del Norte is located in the northern Mindanao region. Its capital is Tubod. The correct answer is Letter E. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Mitzi. Aside from coral and adobe, what was the other important materials used in the construction of Miagao Church, declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site to form a sort of mortar to bind or hold together the building materials used for the church? A. Silt B. Mud C. Cement D. Egg white E. Stones Nawi. A. Silt. Incorrect. Not, not. Stones. Incorrect. Okay. 
Mihag Ao Church was designed with a touch of Spanish Baroque and Romanesque early medieval architectural style with the addition of Chinese, Muslim, and local Filipino elements. The church has a unique ochre color which is due to the materials used, and they used egg white. D. Thank you. Prof. Ricky. When an object is in free fall near the surface of the earth, what is the rate at which it accelerates due to gravity? A, 9.8 meter per second squared. Not, not. A, 9.8 meters per second. Near the surface of the Earth, objects in free fall accelerate at approximately 9.8 meters per second squared due to gravity. A, hey, check. <laughs> Magkakalapit na ang scores, oh, eh. diba? Yes. Samu and Amilov with 80 points each, followed closely by Nat Nat with 75 points. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay. What was the name of the first computer completed in 1945? Letter A, INYAC, Electronic, Numerical, Integrator, and Computer. Letter B, ASCC. Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator. Letter C, EDSAC. Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator. Letter D, IBM, International Business Machines. Letter E, UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer. This was the first large-scale computer to run at electronic speed without being slowed by any mechanical parts. It was first built in 1943 and completed in 1945. The correct answer is A, Inya. Thank you so much. Prof. Nipsi, go ahead. Who is the 19th century painter who was known for his Tipos del País paintings? A, Justiniani Asuncion. B. Felix Resurrección Hidalgo D. Damian Domingo D. Jose Honorato Lozano E. Juan Luna He founded the country's first art school, the Academia de Dibujo y Pintura, in October 1823 in Binondo. The painter popularized the Tipos del País paintings for foreign travelers demanding for souvenirs from the country. The answer is C. Damian Domingo. Thank you. Draw Freaky. Next question, please. What is the term for the loss of a species from a particular habitat or from the entire plant? Samu. Extinction. Extinction occurs when a species no longer exists in a specific habitat or globally due to various factors. K. Check. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay, women's history naman. <laughs> For tempayan. <laughs> Nagtulakan sila. Okay, she was the first woman to top the Philippine bar examinations in 1930. Letter A, Cecilia Munoz Palma. Letter B, Tecla San Andres. Letter C, Amurfina Melencio Herrera. Letter D, Gregoria Cruz. Letter E, Carolina Trino. Tecla San Andres Ziga was a former senator, notable for being the first woman in the country to top the Philippine Bar Examination in 1930. The correct answer is letter B. Okay, 90 points na lang ang pwede niyong makuha dito kung matatama niya. So, Prof. Mitzi, go ahead. Who is the national artist from Angono, Rizal? Distinguished for his mural paintings and known for historical art pieces. A. Victorio Idades. B. Carlos Botong Francisco. C. Jose Blanco. D. Vicente Manansala. E. Malang. He was one of the first Filipino modernists along with Galo Ocampo and Victorio Idades who broke away from Fernando Amorzolo's romanticism of Philippine scenes. He was responsible for the discovery of the now famous Angono petroglyphs in 1965. The answer is B. Carlos Botong Francisco. 
So, Ricky, for your last question. Last question for physics. When an object experiences a force that causes it to rotate, what physical quantity is responsible for this rotational motion? A. Momentum. B. Torque. C. Inertia. D. Friction. E. Angular velocity. Torque is the rotational equivalent of force causing an object to rotate around an axis. The correct answer is letter B. Thank you. And now our last question, Prof. Lu. Okay, in Philippine geography, the municipality of San Lorenzo Ruiz can be found in what province of the region? Letter A, Camarines Norte. Letter B, Camarines Sur. Letter C, Albay. Letter D, Sorsogon. Letter E, Catanduanes. Formerly known as the Municipality of Imelda, the Municipality of San Lorenzo Ruiz was renamed on February 10, 1989 in honor of San Lorenzo Ruiz. The correct answer is letter A, Camarines Norte. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Samu, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 110 points. We'll see him again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. And of course, thank you to our very happy group for the day, Nat Nat, Naui, and Amilove for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lu. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I'm Jules Giang. Please join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.